Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the printer that I just uh, finished a few days ago. It's called the Up Mini and you might recognize it from Angus at Makers Muses. Uh, he's made a few videos on it on his YouTube channel. Uh, a local college actually gave this to me after they realized that it didn't work and they, they thought that maybe I could fix it and uh, I think that I have. As you might know, this printer actually used to use proprietary hardware and software and I have now hacked it to use a ramps board with open source software. Uh, this is actually, it was a pretty fun build and it's pretty cool to see how you could use a, what was once a proprietary printer to now use uh, the awesomeness of open source. So uh, I'll do a little bit of an explanation, uh, show you some of the inner workings of this and what I did to make it work. So yeah. All right, I'll give you a bit of a, I'll give you a bit of a tour on the outside of the printer right now. Um, as you can see, it just uses a PC power supply right here. 12 volts, it works perfectly. Uh, eventually I'm gonna take a 12 volts power brick and put it on the inside of this printer so it all looks a bit more sleek. But as you can see, there's actually a USB core that I have coming out of one of the old ports of this printer. There's holes in here for old ports. Uh, but I can actually upload new firmware or print from a computer directly using that USB. So that's a nice little feature that I like. Uh, on the outside as well, you can tell that there is a, an LCD that uses runs Marlin. And um, that's all there is really to see on the outside. Yeah. I've now turned off the printer so that you can hear it over the fan noise. but. Okay, as you can see, the x-axis actually moves on the top here, and the uh, the x-carriage is, or the x-axis is stationary. The x-carriage moves back and forth up here, and the z-axis actually contains the y-axis. So it's a bit of a different design that the uh, up printers, the up line of printers have used, but uh, we don't really see today. So uh, I think it's interesting. It's not the, the most useful, but I think it's interesting, So and it, it works decently for this type of printer. So. Uh, other cool things that I, I liked about this printer is uh, the carriage actually comes off. It uses magnets. I don't know how useful that is exactly, but uh, it's nice for for taking it off to maybe unscrew something or something along those lines. I don't really use it, that feature that often, but I might find myself in the near future using it. So the whole thing is actually designed very well. It uses 3D printed parts here, but there, I think that's a good thing personally. A lot of people don't like that, but I like it. And um, I think that it's bold that a company would do that, but uh, definitely well designed. I mean, it's a, it's an extremely well engineered printer for the most part. All right, other things about this printer, uh, it's actually all fully enclosed. So there's a door right here and a latch on the top right here. And now the printer can print very high temperature or high warping materials because the, the build chamber is completely enclosed. Uh, I actually like that quite a bit. I think it gives a nice aesthetic to the printer. And I actually really like the aesthetic of having it all closed like this and then still having, you know, your open source ramps uh, Marlin LCD, you know, just to show that it's, it's uh, it was once a proprietary printer, but now it, it does what I want it to do, basically. I think that's fun. All right, now I've unscrewed the back. And just to show you a little bit about the electronic setup, uh, as you can see, it's just a standard ramps board right here that I just kind of have situated against the back right here. I actually have a piece of cardboard in there so that I won't short up against this metal piece. But uh, the metal piece does its, a good job of keeping all the electronics hidden from the in, uh, from the inside view over the, from that door. So I, I like that. It makes the whole thing look a bit more sleek. Um, I have my LCD cables kind of up there taped to the top and they come out of this opening right here, which works fine. Um, most of this was actually a pretty straightforward build. All the motors actually, the, the connectors actually work perfectly with the ramps board. Uh, the end stops I had to modify just to plug it into the leads. Um, and uh, the only thing that I had to actually change, the heater cartridge and the thermistor did not work with the ramps board. I don't know if the thermistor had different resistor values or what, but it, it would not recognize it. So, And also the heater cartridge was, broke, cartridge was broken or just use a different voltage than what the ramps did because um, Natively, this printer uses a 19 volts power supply, and I actually used it uh, 20, a 12 volt power supply with a ramps board. So maybe that was the problem, but I replaced them both with a 100k ohm uh, resistor or uh, thermistor and just your standard heater cartridge for 12 volts. So that works perfectly now. And uh, again, all the motor connectors worked, uh, and I didn't even have to tune the motor or drivers that much. It just works natively, and. Um, 
yeah, that's basically all there is. I actually don't have the bed heated right now. Uh, this bed actually used an interesting heater system that it was all self-regulate, like it was a closed loop heat bed. So it would send voltage to it and to, to the, the printer would send voltage to it and then it would, it would self-regulate uh, with the resistor on board. So it was kind of odd, but it, I guess it worked for them, but uh, I ended up not being able to use that at all, even using uh, my own thermistor and things like that. So I have a, a 120 by 120 millimeter heat bed that I intend to use eventually. Uh, because I think this would make a very good printer for ha having a closed environment like it does. So uh, I think this is all that there really is to explain to this printer. It took me a little while to build just um, because I was trying to figure out some of the things like the heat bed and the heater cartridges. But And I also took a one week break in the middle of that. But um, it took me definitely a few days to put together. But I'm happy with the results. It prints decently and I, I still have quite a bit of tuning and calibrating to do. But I'm pretty uh, happy with it, and I'm I, I'm happy. To, I, I I'm excited to take it to events and see what you guys think about this video and think about this printer. So um, tell me if you guys have this printer or if you have any questions for it or comments or anything like that. And thanks for watching.